since my youth, I have been told that I was special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ishari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. But the old books, the prophecies they contained, showed me all that might come to pass, and all that I might become. Then, a star fell from the heavens, a sign that my moment had come. I will go west to Tristram, Stop the darkness that the star portends and fulfill the destiny that beckons me. I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Cain. Now, all that stands between me and the fallen star is the skeleton king who has returned to darken Tristram once again. I have traveled far, only to find that the fallen star was a man. Who is he? Why has he come? He recalls nothing, but Cain may have the answers. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldea, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. In her final miserable moments, Magda swore that the demon lord Belial would soon rule this world. He'll have to defeat me first. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She revealed to us the existence of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy all evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. Chaldeum is free from Belial and his lies. Now, only Asmodan remains. He sends his army to attack us from the heart of the Ariat Crater. Bastion's Keep is all that stands between us and utter defeat. I will not allow it to fall. saved Bastion's Keep. It is time to leave the confines of the Keep and take the fight to Asmodan's war machines upon the open fields. The Demon Gate lies in ruins, while Asmodan has brought Hell itself into the crater. I will destroy the Sin Hearts that bring unholy life to his armies, and then face the Lord of Sin himself. Adria has betrayed us completely, and Leah's soul is lost. Through her, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. All the powers of hell are his to command. 
the high heavens tremble, and the angels are helpless before Diablo's assault. Only I remain to set things right, and rid the world of Diablo's evil forever. Diablo sought to bring despair down upon heaven, but I have destroyed his champion and restored hope. I thought this would bring Tyriel back to his senses, but he remains lost. Nevertheless, I must push on and eradicate Diablo's hellish portals. Diablo will corrupt the crystal arch atop the Silver Spire, unless he is stopped. Should he succeed, heaven will fall. Everything has led to this moment. Tyriel and I will fight our way to the summit, where I will finally face Diablo. The rumors are everywhere. Angels stalk the city of Westmarch, killing everyone, strong and weak, noble and commoner alike. I do not know what these angels want, and I do not care. These reapers think that no one can stand against them. I will show them the error of their beliefs, and remind them that they should fear me. I have delivered the city of Westmarch from Urzale and his Reapers. The people are now free to rebuild their homes and their lives. Lorath and I depart for the Blood Marsh to find Adria. She, of all people, knows how to locate Malthael. I will take great joy in extracting that information before I kill her. Malthael's attempt to keep me from entering Pandemonium simply confirms that he is still unwilling to face me. Now I must cross this blighted wasteland. Site of a thousand battles between Angel and Demon. The Angel of Death awaits me in the Pandemonium Fortress on the other side. He will not be waiting long. By conquering death, she had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. She is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a wizard who protects the innocent. But within her beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will she have the strength to resist or will she be our doom?